Ćao drugari, dobrodošli nazad na kanal i dobrodošli u još jedan video. Danas malo drugačiji video. U Philadelphia sam, došao ovdje poslom, ali nisam to htio da vam snimam. Dva danas imam ih obaveza, a danas je malo dan za uživanje. Video će biti različiti, to je malo drugačiji iz dva razloga. Prvi, to je što snimamo 996 GT3. Lastik je moj prijatelj Brian. What's up Brian? Hold on. Let me focus you on. Današnji klip će biti na engleskom. Stavit ću subtitles dole ispod. Tako da, eto, pozorenje kome se gleda klip na engleskom. Sa 96 ostanite ovdje. Biće prevod. Kome ne. Mi ćemo sada se provozamo. Popričamo malo o njegovom automobilu. Vidimo da li je poručna investicija. Vi ostanite vidimo da li vam se sviđa sadržaj. Anyways, people who follow me and who follow me on social media know that I don't know what I'm doing most of the time and now you got a chance to see that first hand. It's nice to, nice to meet you in person. <laughs> yeah, we, we've known each other forever online but we never got a chance to hang out. Yeah. Um, heard so much about you, your car, and, and now we're here. In Let's Philadelphia. be honest, we all care about the car. Really. Right, nobody cares about you, me, or <laughs> our opinions, what we look like. <laughs> this is important. 2004? Yep, 2004 I think. Officially it was built in January of 2005, but it was the very end of the uh, 2004 model for the GT3. Okay, 996.2. Yep. Um, uh, you and I spoke earlier uh, as a joke, my friends in Serbia has a, have a series on YouTube they call Porsche as an investment. Uh, I feel my two cents on what my uh, experience was with Porsche, but now <laughs> Uh, you have a little bit of a better experience, a little bit of a brighter story than mine, so would love to, to hear why this car and, you know, over how long you have it. Yeah, um, so it was back in 2019 um, that I was considering the foolish idea of buying a 996, very expensive 996 GT3 for, for me at the time, being, I think, what, 32 years old. <laughs> um, so I was talking with my brothers and saying, hey, I might spend 60 grand on a GT3. And they all thought I was crazy. 60 uh, grand? 60 grand at the time at 21,000 miles. Um, but I was uh, crazy enough to, at the time, make that purchase. And here we are in 2022. And I think they're worth 120 now at this point. <laughs> so uh, I'm very happy with my so, I have this, awesome. this car and then a 2001 Boxer S. Boxer S, I'll, I might have filmed a little bit of it later, we'll probably film something with it. Yep. But uh, this is, in all fairness, a little more special car. It definitely sure. is. Um, but uh, yeah, the prices of these surprisingly have gone up uh, with pretty much all the 996 models, which is good for you too, yeah. good for us. Um, but uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. I don't really take it out too much in the winter other than to warm the motor up a little bit. Um, but certainly taking it out as much as possible between the, the spring and the fall. Yeah, so as you said, every 996 went up uh, over the past three years and uh, four years. Yeah. And I feel like even my car that I got for 27.5, I can probably get at least, you know, 40 for it, yeah. which is which is fair assessment given the money. I invested it in and we put into it to, to keep it going and keep it running. What's interesting is the 996 is, you know, being relatively low value for so long. A bunch of people bought them that didn't maintain them, so finding a good example is, is tough. True. Very true. Like, I, I looked into five or six 4S's before finally buying one, and what put me off buying most of them was lack of service records. Uh, you can tell inside when car was well taken care of or if it was just beaten up to, to pieces. And some of these cars, even 50 to 70,000 miles, maybe that doesn't sound like a lot of miles, but you know, in a Porsche, if it's not well maintained, it's just a, you're asking for a, for a problem in, in a yeah. sense. Yeah, I mean, to, to get this car with 20,000 miles at the time, um, clearly I only have 22 now, so I don't drive it every day. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I feel very fortunate. Um, I think a dealer in Ohio listed the car, um, I think for 69 at the time. Okay. Um, and we went back and forth and I eventually got it for a little over 59,000. Um, but I think uh, a wife sold a collection, the husband had passed away. Um, so the dealer picked this car up and I think 
being in the middle of Ohio, was probably having a tough time selling it over the winter, so definitely made some concessions on price. And, uh, yeah, I think my family still thinks I'm crazy, but <laughs> between us, I'm, I'm very happy with it. <laughs> it's funny, I think um, I've driven uh, 991 GT3, uh, briefly 997 GT3. 997 GT3 is many ways this car but enhanced in every way but I'd say this car is much rawer than and certainly the, the 991 but the 997 too or 997.2 as well so uh, yeah I, I had a chance to see you to drive 991 in the track GT3 and I was blown away by the overall experience of this car like it feels literally like the GT3 991 it's a bit older more mechanical but you, you will never tell like inside everything feels very sturdy, very stiff, very, and I mean it in, in, in the best possible way. A lot of people say the 996 GT3 when you start it up sounds like a can of rocks, because um, it does. Um, but yeah, I think that's a, it's a healthy, healthy motor. So when uh, when I had the car delivered and they started it up, bringing it off a little trailer, same thing. I heard it. I said, Oh no, I think I've, I've bought a, a blown motor. But uh, fortunately, that's a, the common case. So. Yeah, the way it sounds.
volumes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. one, one of the reasons why I went for uh, Polar Metallic Silver with blue tile, blue interior was that. I, I knew they made quite a few 996 4Xs convertibles. Well, not quite a few, but they made some. And, and I felt like the more unique uh, spec it is, the more special car it will feel yeah. to me. So. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I've always liked quiet cars. They're a pain to keep clean, but I've always enjoyed them. So. Thanks, DJ, for coming out, man. It's fun. It's good to find you. Head back to the garage. Yeah, sure. Awesome. I evo nas ljudi nazad u Los Angelesu, da ja imamo klip, Brejan i ja smo ono već ostali ko njima kući par sati posle vožnje, družili se, vozili se molator koji on ima i posle toga sam ja mora idem nazad u hotel i da se pakujem i da se prijam za put nazad kući. Ako mi prati na Instagramu, vjerojatno je video da bukvalno cijelo septembar putujem zbog posla, mislim sam kući proveo par dana. u toku celog meseca, tako da ovaj razlog zašto videa nije bilo jedno 15 dana je upravo taj. Molim vas, vidite mi u komentaru kako vam se svidio video, malo drugačiji koncert, prvi put sam snimao nešto što je većim delom bilo na engleskom, prvi put sam radio prevod i subtitlove, pa me baš interesuje da li se to vama svidjelo, nadam se da sam pomogao onima koji možda ne pričaju engleski toliko dobro i celokupan koncept da li vam se sviđa, ako vam se sviđa, ja imam par drugara koji totno pričaju naš jezik ali pričaju engleski i imaju zanimljive automobile pa bi mogao da napravim još ovakvih klipova u budućnosti. Još jedna stvar, što se tiče giveaway-a, pauzirat ćemo sa tim jedno desetak, petnaest dana. Podarili smo do sad, ja mislim, 12 postara, ali nisu baš svi dostavljeni. Tako da hoću da budem siguran da su dosadašnji dobitnici primili svoje postare, pre nego što nastavim da poklanjam postare, jednostavno hoću da budem siguran da ste svi dobili vaše nagrade. Što se ti giveaway-a tiče, također spremam još par zanimljivih stvari. Radi o nekim većim, zanimljivim, boljim stvarima, tako da budete strpljivi, bit će novosti što se toga tiče. Naredni par klipova sam već isplanirao, tako da potrudit ću se u narednih mjesec dana, kontent bude malo konstantniji. Pokušao sam malo ovaj edit u ovom klipu da bude drugačiji i zanimljiviji. Ja iskreno mislim da je to sve bolje i bolje, bar iz neke moje perspektive, a vi mi recite da li vam se sviđa. Ako da, ostavite like, šerujte sa nekim i obavezno ljudi subscribeujte, znači da pogovoramo kanal i da nam ovdje neka naša zajednica raste. I to je bilo to, ja vas sve pozdravljam, hvala vam još jednom na gledanju i vidimo sljedeći klipu, čao!